Three CR two two seven nine, State versus Roger Neek Jones, and where we left off, I asked if you had reviewed the documents with your attorney. You stated yes. Uh, are you the same Roger Neek Jones who was placed on deferred adjudication in two thousand twenty three CR two two seven nine for the offense of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one? One gram to four grams on May 1st, 2023 for a period of three years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, State. Yes, Your Honor. Violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas. The defendant probably need some survey. Mm -hmm. Jones did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of August, September 2023. Violation condition number four. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. Uh, we'll waive the remaining violated condition. Any objection to the waiver? No objection, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, ma'am. Court is finding violation of condition number four true. Is there a proposed agreement? Yes, Your Honor. And what is that proposed agreement? It's denying the motion uh, to adjudicate and continue on for probation and to have a tap evaluation done and follow those recommendations. Oh, you want to raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God? Yes, Your Honor. You can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Roger Nick Jones. All right. Why have you not been successful in probation? Okay. Um, last year, I left off home because my mom was dying. My mom, well, my dad died five days before Christmas. My mom died on Christmas. Afterwards, um, I felt like I just kind of was out of touch with myself for a bit. And I just went, went like, I, I felt like I lost my mind for a little bit because I didn't know how to deal with losing my mom. And then I felt like I lost time because I spent a lot of time in jail for the past two years. Um, but that's no excuse. But that's what happened. I did speak with my federal attorney, I mean, my federal probation officer, but I did not speak with my probation officer for state because I was on both federal and state probation, but I'm finished with federal probation. But um, she- me, Does anyone have any Kleenex? Thank you. And uh, federal probation proceeded in, in and she actually took me off of federal probation and ended me early due to that. And I just kind of, I made a dumb decision not to speak to him, not to contact him, not to go in. Um, I did have a path of drug use, but I can't say that was the issue last year. Last year was just really more of an issue of trying to find my kids and trying to deal with the loss of both of my parents. What do you mean trying to find your children? Because my mom gave my kids to someone and my mom gave my kids to someone when I was in jail <laughs> and I can't I can't say that I know where they are. All right, so currently you don't know where they are? So do you have any other family? I do. I have my sister and my brother. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna currently reside with my older brother, but they're not with my family they're not with my brother or my sister so does anyone know where your children are my sister's told me um i spoke to my sister while i was on the phone she said that she she found my two oldest but she hadn't told me where but my youngest daughter my four-year-old i don't know where she's at she's not even in the state of san antonio in san antonio and so um i went to new orleans i spent some time in new orleans last year trying to find Nevaeh, my four-year-old, um, because that's where her dad's from, which I did not find her. So that was pretty much what I was going through. All right, and does her father know where she is? He's in jail for life. Okay. Both of my, my children's fathers are incarcerated. I'm the only parent they have. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, I don't... You know, I always try to solve all problems, right? Um, with regards to your daughter, you're probably gonna have to have an investigator to see where she is. And I'm sure your attorney can let you know of some investigators 
And then there are some investigators who will actually, they do pro bono work as well, some of them, and they will uh, see about that. But just remain in court. I'll, I'll see what information I can give you to help her. All right, I'll deny the motion. Alternate men conditions. Uh, to include a TAP evaluation in custody. How long do you expect the TAP evaluation to take? All right, so we're going to have you come back over here in three weeks to make sure that you're not lost in the system. Yes, ma'am. And then see if we have anything for grief counseling. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else you need from the court? Um, can I have a resource for trauma? Yeah, that's the, the grief counseling that I'm giving you, but we'll see if there's um, any counseling for trauma. Okay. All right. So we're off the record. Here's the thing in this court, communication is key. When you're going through things, now you have probation sort of as a safety net. You can actually pick up the phone and call them. Okay. And when you call them and let them know what's going on, they will be empathetic and sympathetic to your plight. You would not even be in custody right now if you just picked up the phone and called someone and said, this is what's going on in my life. Then what would ended up happening? Probation would have came to me and, and or either sent me by an email asking the alternate main conditions for you to have time to go spend time with your mother and to take care of things. But just acting as though you're not on probation is not good. Yes, you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Is there anything else? Yeah. All right, Ms. Ferguson, I need a three-week reset date. All right, so we're going to come back on October 17th, Council. If for any reason this is done before then, then they'll let us know and you'll be brought over before October 17th. Yes, ma'am. All right, and if you'll just wait a minute, I'm going to see if I have a number for somebody to call in regards to that. Let's get the facts straight. She loves a verbal ashtray. Never blowing smoke when she gets pissed. She's quick to castrate. Love her on a good day. Love her on a bad day. Either way, she's here to stay, stay, stay. 